The Defender 110's V8 engine delivers extra horsepower in a fine but rugged package. After decades of being absent from the American market, Land Rover revived the Defender nameplate for the 2020 model year. The first version to land on our shores was the four door, turbo i6 powered Defender 110 variant, which promptly won our 2021 Motor Trend SUV of the Year award. Land Rover then introduced the shorter wheelbase, two door, 8-cylinder Defender 90 along with the V8-powered Defender 110. It's been difficult to get our hands on the latter version, thanks to the combination of ongoing supply chain constraints and high consumer demand, but we've now finally put an example through our full testing regimen. Beneath the 2023 Defender 110 V8's hood is Land Rover's tried-and-true supercharged 5.0-liter engine. It churns out 518 horsepower and 461 pounds to foot of torque on premium fuel. Jaguar Land Rover has employed the AJ133 V8 since 2009, and is phasing it out slowly in favor of a new BMW-sourced 4.4-liter twin-turbo V8 that produces 523 horsepower and 553 pounds to foot in Range Rovers. However, despite its days being numbered, the AJ133 still packs quite a punch. It is backed by an 8-speed automatic transmission and propelled the 5,655-pound 2023 Land Rover Defender 110 from 0 to 60 mile per hour in an impressive 4.6 seconds. Running through our quarter-mile test required just 13.1 seconds at 107.7 miles per hour. By contrast, the 3.0-liter i6-powered Defender 110 sprinted to 60 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds and completed the quarter mile in 14.8 seconds at 92.0 miles per hour. If you're looking for a similarly sized, non-Land Rover V8-powered off-road SUV, Jeep's 6.4-liter V8-equipped Wrangler 392 is capable of clicking off a 4.2-second 0-60 to 60 time, and the Mercedes AMG G63 with its 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 does so in just 3.9 seconds. The 2023 Land Rover Defender 110 V8 is incredibly fun to drive on the road. The strong engine produces plenty of grunt to get into and out of trouble, and it pumps a fantastic growl out of its quad exhaust tips. The 8-speed transmission fires off shifts quickly with appropriate firmness, and it holds gears long enough to take full advantage of the V8's power band. Switching the Defender into its dynamic drive mode, which is accessed through the terrain management system, unleashes the vehicle's full fury. Increased throttle response, more aggressive shifts, stiffer suspension damping, and torque vectoring from the electronic active rear differential combine to create a sensational driving experience, especially for a nearly 3-ton boxy off-roader. This Defender 110 V8's ride quality is equally impressive. To facilitate the sort of dynamic driving expected by owners of the most powerful Defender model, Land Rover fit these versions with unique springs, larger anti-roll bars, unique damper tuning, and larger 15-inch front brakes. We found the brakes are strong and progressive while giving ample feedback, without aggressive initial bite. Steering proved a tad heavier than previous Defender models we've driven, but not to the point of hampering drivability. And while the Defender 110 V8 suspension worked well to hug corners and maintain its composure under hard acceleration and braking, we found during normal city driving it produces a fair bit of road noise and feels almost harsh traversing broken pavement and expansion joints. We suspect these negative behaviors are attributable mostly to the vehicle's 22-inch wheels and low-profile tires. Sliding into the driver's seat, you notice the same well-appointed cabin that has graced the current generation Land Rover Defender since its introduction in 2020. The interior design exhibits plenty of character through the use of exposed bolt heads, contrasting colors, soft-touch materials, and real metal finishes. We especially appreciate the copious amount of storage available in various slots, cubbies, and nooks spread throughout, though we inadvertently dropped items into the void of the center console on several occasions. The 2023 Land Rover Defender 110 V8 also features a generous offering of both USB-A and USB-C charge and data ports, along with a now-standard wireless charging pad. A new 11.4-inch curved infotainment screen is arguably the most impressive addition to the Defender's interior. This new screen option, standard on V8 models, runs Land Rover's latest version of its PIVI Pro software and offers both a sharper image picture and a much more user-friendly interface. But if you're not already familiar with Land Rover's UI, the learning curve is still fairly steep. Meanwhile, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are also now available. One of the Defender's big selling points is the vehicle's off-road prowess. Equipped with Land Rover's exceptional Terrain Response 2 system, the 2023 Defender 110 is fitted with a two-speed transfer case with low range, center and rear locking differentials, all-terrain progress control, ATPC, low traction launch control, hill descent control, air suspension, quasi-torque.